Hi YouTube. Um, apologies about my wardrobe in the back. It's like slightly cracked open. I know that will like really annoy some people, but my wardrobe just hasn't shut. So yeah, it's like I think someone's watching me every night while I sleep from my wardrobe. But anyway, today I'm going to be doing the. It's like the passport makeup. Kind of went viral on TikTok, right? And I want to recreate it now. I'm not gonna go and get a passport photo taken because I'm a baby and none of my friends are free today. I don't wanna go myself. Uh, I don't mind going out and about myself like I'm a big girl, but it's something really like, it makes me really anxious the thought of like going into um, one of those photo passport booths by myself. Like I'm scared somebody will rip the curtain open and just go like, ha, ha, ha. Obviously won't happen, but. So I'm just gonna like, recreate a passport photo because I took a selfie yesterday I was like I'm going to take some professional photographs from my Instagram off myself and they all look like passport photos it's just me like looking into the camera like and uploaded it for like an hour and I was like nah I'm deleting this because <laughs> it's so like cringe it just made me cringe anyway um so credits to at Georgia Barrett I think I'm saying that right on TikTok she went kind of viral for this like amazing makeup look she did for her passport photo it turned out really nice so I'm going to be following her look like step by step so I'm hoping I do look really different yeah now she starts off with the eyebrows and um, which I never really do um I know a lot of people do do that before they even think about face makeup but um this is new for me but I'm staying true to the tutorial. <laughs> but, so what she does is she gets got to be glued, uh, the hairspray and a spoolie, but I do not have got to be glued, so I will be using L'Oreal L Net hairspray <laughs> and just crossing my fingers that it does the job. I'm gonna get a little mirror. Now the problem, she has very full brows and I do not. <laughs> but, so I'm gonna have to do a lot of uh, makeup magic to make it look like I have full brows. Now, uh, this doesn't seem to be working very well. You know what I'm gonna do? Trusty eyebrow styling wax. It'll do the same thing pretty much. And this is by Colourpop and Clear. So I'm just gonna take that, spray a little bit of set and spray onto it to wet it and get on about there. This should probably work, yeah, that's a bit better. So I'm just gonna I've never been good at doing this like eyebrow trend where it's the sticky up brows. I just Okay, maybe I am. This is quite good what. Oh. Maybe use a clean spoolie for this, not one that's got <laughs> makeup on it. Brilliant, brilliant. So I'm left with whatever the hell this is. Okay. I'm looking a bit rough. So then she, oh, this is kind of a stupid angle, sorry. And then she just so sort of squares off like that. But the thing is, I've got very sparse brows, don't I? So I'm gonna have to use a lot of eyebrow product to make it look like I actually have full brows, which is funny. <laughs> Okay, next up is a hydrating primer, which um, instead I'm just gonna use the Strobe Cream Hydrant Lumino by MAC. I'm saying that's so wrong, I already know. And this is like, makes you look very like luminous. Put it like under your foundation. That was way too much I just put on. As you can see, it's like, I don't know if it'll pick up on camera very well, but it's almost pearlescent. So I'm just putting that all over. So I'm just going to go in with my normal foundation, um, the Fenty Beauty 150, you know, you know the drill. I'm going to put on quite a lot because if you were going to get like a passport photo done, it's not going to pick up like skin texture, is it? <laughs> so a lot of foundation will be okay, I think. So I'm filming this in my room today. I usually like to film in my living room, but um, it's just that way all my makeup's in here and it's like, oh, having to drag it all through and then set up like a desk and everything is like, not that much work, but um, I'm, I'm a lazy girl, you know? I look a bit crazy right now. These eyebrows, I'm not sure about. I don't have the eyebrows for like, eyebrow wax really though. 
clearly. <laughs> also, I took my extensions out. You've probably noticed, but um, so my hair is not looking too hot right now. That's why it's in these little piggy tails. Okay, then it's just normal concealer. So I'm using the 150 and the Fenty concealer as well, which is, to be quite honest, running out. Got blend up. I'm following along the TikTok tutorial that the, um, Georgia Barrett did, and her brows are already full, and at this point, she carves them out. Um, I've got nothing to carve out right now, so I'm just going to go in with my eyebrows because some people are more blessed than others, and I am not one of those people. Now, this is the bit when it's going to get confusing for you to watch probably and you're going to be like her eyebrows look like ass but uh you're gonna have to bear with me so i'm using the ColourPop feather effect brow pen and medium brown um i'll bring you in a little bit closer and i'm just gonna start to create fake brow hair now this color match is not ideal but I don't have any more feller Brit eyebrow pens. I've run, I've run out of my colour. So we'll make this work though. Kind of. This might have to be another video that doesn't get uploaded. It's not going to well. So I'm being just pretty messy with it. Why do these look red on camera? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. clearly not the colour. It looks fine in person. It is like fully pink on camera. Cool. So I'm going to go in with Brown Eyeliner by Hawes Laboratories. Um, this is kind of... This might be a bit intense but we'll try it. Oh no, that works. Just be, I'm just being quite gentle though. They look quite intense on camera, I have to say. Uh, I just wish you could see it how I see it. It's not that bad in person. Oh. Um, I promise you it's really not that intense in person. Ah! I'm just going to move on and pretend that these look brilliant and amazing and beautiful. So I'm just going to carve these bad boys out now. We can't have everything we want in life. I think like, oh actually it doesn't look too bad now, I think this just needs to kind of be corrected slightly. Okay, moving on. Now she says she goes quite OTT with the contour, um, so it, I don't know, appears better kind of on camera. Um, but she basically puts a little bit here. She uses a, I'm gonna try and use a brush today. I never use a brush, but I'm just copying what she does. <laughs> brush works fine, actually. You know when you're a beauty blender user, it just like, that's all you've ever known. Oh, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury contour wand and fair medium. Um, this is basically run out, but um, I squished it, like I stood on it on my floor and like magically it's working again, so. So then it's just like up here and up here. Like essentially trying to make the cheekbones look higher, I think. It's actually, this brush works better for the contour than my actual beauty blender. I will keep that in mind. And also what she does is down here. 
to almost create the cheekbone effect. It's all about like calmer trickery, isn't it? Then next up, it's a line here and a line here. I never contour my chin, so I'm curious to see what this looks like. Actually, it doesn't look bad at all. I need to come out my comfort zone a little bit. She just then drags it back up the jaw. I'm doing like Kim K level contour right now. Remember that when it went back in like 2016? Everyone was doing the harshest contour in the world. Specifically because of Kim K. Good times. Good times. I look like I'm... You know those like people on TikTok and YouTube that would do, ma do makeup to look exactly like a celebrity and they like contour their face in specific ways so they look like the celebrity. This is what I look like. I look like I'm about to transform into someone else. And she just takes the same brush with some contour onto the bottom of the nose. I might go off script a little bit and do it up the nose as well because this is harsh, this is harsh, this is harsh and then this is very white. But I'm gonna, what she also does is into the eyes here and brings it up like this. Ow. This brush is a little bit tickly. Also, don't ask me what brush this was, or this is. I've had this brush since I've been 16, maybe, and I'm 21 now. I remember one of my like old friends, who I'm not friends with anymore, um, got me this makeup brush for my birthday, and I've it's just stayed in my collection ever since. It needs thrown out, this is so old. I just find the older brushes do the best. Okay, I'm just gonna take a little bit up my nose. That kind of drags in a little bit. Okay, she then goes in with a lighter concealer. Concealer on this bit, this bit, this bit, this bit, these bits. This is heavier makeup than I usually do. This probably wouldn't be very wearable for me personally because my skin texture's been like horrible lately. Like, I've just had lots of little bumps on my face, which I've never had before. It's strange. You'd think you'd get that kind of skin issue when you're younger and your teens. But, um, my skin's always been fairly good, so it's quite interesting to see having skin issues at this age. But, yeah, God knows why. Just pretend like it's not a problem. So you can kind of see just, like, little bumps and stuff. It might just be spots to be fair. Right, this is looking dodge, but what she does is take some concealer. And puts it here to make the jawline really like, shh. This doesn't look very well blinded at all. I don't know if that works in your favor, maybe in passport photos, but. She just also takes a cream blush on the bit, the high bits of her cheeks, just a touch. And this is the Denisa, Denisa Myrix Beauty Blush and Ballet Slippers. Where the hell did I get this? I've never heard this brand before. <laughs> she just puts a little blip here and a blip here. I'm just going to blend that. This blush is up. Bleh. This blush is actually quite good though. I've had this for a while and it just like, it's very, very pigmented. So kind of, you need to be a bit careful though. I'm still pushing it in. I'm just using a brush instead. This is a Too Faced loose powder. Oh, this is a bit yellow, this powder. It's a bit, it might be a bit dark for my skin. And then next is just, take some bronzer. I don't own bronzer, um, weirdly. But she just goes back over. I'm just going to use the Kaleidos uh, contour palette and just go in to the contour. 
Uh, it looks like she goes in with another blush, so I'm going to go in a powder blush this time. I'm going to go in with the Kaleidos Lo-Fi Dual Blusher, and I'm going to take... Oh, oh, like it's in the shade Lo-Fi Peach. Just take the peachy shade, the matte one. And then just up here a little bit. She takes it up her eyes here as well, I think. Okay, next is just a brown eyeliner. I'm just using the same Hose Laboratories one and I just a little baby wing, um, which I'm not used to bringing in a bit. She just takes a little wing. It's kind of running out. Like this. Yeah, this eyeliner is on its last legs. I've definitely used it all up. She also just does a little corner, a little bit in the corner. And that one's kind of messed up. Next, she just takes some highlighter and puts it on these bits of the eye. So I'm just going to take a little fluff brush, a little fluffy brush. I've always loved highlighter on the eye. I think it looks so good, you know. And then curl my lashes wherever my eyelash curler is. So this, the angles are so weird when I film in my bedroom. It's because my tripod's like right in front of my mirror. It has to be a certain angle. So sorry if I just randomly go out of shot like I usually do. Okay, I'm gonna take the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara and just go over. I think I'm going to leave the bottom lashes with no mascara. I really like doing that when I don't wear falsies. It kind of makes you look a bit fresher, I think. Um, and also, the video looks like there's not really any mascara on the bottom lashes. Also, like, my eyelashes aren't super long, but my bottom ones are, I think, longer than most. So when I put them on, they look a bit... When I put mascara on, it looks a bit spidery, I think. Which looks good sometimes, but for this kind of look, I don't think I want spider lashes. Okay, next up she says, really overline your lips, basically, which is music to my ears. I take my old and trusty Cool BFF ColourPop lip liner, and I'm just gonna... Overline. Okay, that's a bit much. <laughs> I'm going to take the gloss from the NYX Shine Loud Boundary Pusher Lipstick. I'm just going to... She puts her gloss on, by the way, that's why. I usually don't... I usually don't put gloss on. I don't know what I've got against lip gloss. I mean, lip gloss is nice, so you can't deny. This is apparently it. But what I'm going to add is I'm just going to put a little touch of highlighter on my nose. I feel like that's what's missing. I'm also going to quickly add just a little beauty mark here because and here and here. Kind of made it my trademark to myself almost that I have to have a little beauty spot. But yeah, this is the final look. I think it's very... With the lipstick added, I think it's really came together. Yeah, this is nice. The lips... I keep staring at my lips because... I'm not used to gloss, so it's really... Ooh. Also, yeah, my hair's a disgrace. I've had extensions in for months. It's thin, it's wispy. I don't want any comments judging me. But yeah, I guess it's time to take the passport photo, which I'll be taking it in my room, thank you very much. 
I was just like, the older I've gotten is like, the worse almost my anxiety. Cause it's like, when I was, when I was like 14, 15, my anxiety was dreadful. Or I was always anxious. I've had my one hoop in this whole time, haven't I? Pretend, just don't even comment anything. I cannot. <laughs> oh my god. Of course. Of course, only had one hoop in. I bet that annoyed so many people as well. I bet so many people were like, why has she got one hoop in? I better put a disclaimer at the start, right? Because people will be like, why is she saying anything? Uh, yeah, I hope you liked it. I think trying other people's kind of makeup techniques are is fun. I'm not gonna lie. I kind of, I enjoy following a little tutorial. I might do more like that. But yeah, thank you for watching. Excuse the hair and excuse the one earring the whole time. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That's actually ridiculous. <laughs> okay, um... See you later, guys. Bye.